and Sophia J. And welcome back to my channel. Remember to like and subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell so you're notified when I put out my next video. Today, we're going to be reading Tick and Talk's Clockbook. This book will teach us how to tell time. And after I finish reading the book, there will be a challenge. So remember to grab a pencil and some paper for when the time comes. Let's get into it. This is Tip, and this is Talk. They are the Tiger Twins. Bring! The alarm clock rang so loudly it made Tick and Talk jump out of bed. What time is it? said Talk. Tick went to look at the clock. Um, the big hand? Not sure, he said. What time did the clock say? So we can see the smaller hand, which is the hour hand, pointing at eight. And the big hand is pointing at 12. Because the hour hand is pointing at the eight, that means that the hour is eight. Well, what about the minute hand? Is it eight twelve? Maybe it has to do with these smaller lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. It seems that for each bigger number, that there are five smaller lines. Each of these smaller lines represent minutes, meaning that I can skip count by five starting at the one to find out what the minute is. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Hmm. So that must mean that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And because the big hand, the minute hand, is pointing at the 12, which is 60 minutes, that means that it is directly on the hour, meaning that it is 8 o'clock. Breakfast is waiting, said Mom, popping her head round the door. My, what a muddle, she said, and began tidying up. The Tiger Twins raced downstairs for breakfast. They helped themselves to cereal with lots of milk and bread with lots of honey and yogurt and strawberries. Mom came in and took one look. My, what a muddle, she said and began to tidy up. Isn't it time for school, said Mom. What's the time, said Talk. Tit looked at the kitchen clock. Er, little hand. Not sure, said Tick. What time was it? So this time, the hour hand is still pointing to the eight, but the minute hand is pointing to the six. That means that the hour is still eight, but the minutes are different. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That means that the time is 8.30. At school, they had painting to do. There was red paint and yellow paint and blue paint and green paint. And Tick and Talk got most of it on each other. The teacher took one look and said, my, what a muddle. I think it's time to stop now. Talk, what does the clock say? Er, the big hand, not sure, said Talk. What time was it? All right, this time the small hand is pointing to the 10. And the minute hand is pointing to the three. Since the small hand, the hour hand is pointing to the 10, that means that the hour is 10. Now we have to count by fives to the three to find out the minutes. Five, 10, 15. That means the time is 10, 15. They 
play tag. Tick and Tock will both fell over in the mud. It must be nearly lunchtime by now, said Tock. My tummy is rumbling. I think the clock says half past twelve, says Tick. Lunchtime, said Tock. Was he right? So, the small hand is pointing to the twelve. And the minute hand is pointing to the six. Now, half past twelve means twelve thirty. So let's see if the time is twelve thirty. The hour hand is pointing to the twelve. So the hour is twelve. So now we have to count by fives all the way to the six. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That means it's twelve thirty. Meaning that tick was correct with the time. At the end of the school day, the teacher turned to talk. It's your turn, talk. Tell us what the time is. Um, big hand, not sure, he said. All right. The small hand is pointing to the three. And the long hand is pointing to the six. So, since the hour hand is pointing to the three, the hour is three. And we have to count by fives to the six to find out the minutes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That means the time is three thirty. It's time to go home, said the teacher. Mom met them at the gate. My goodness, what a mess, she said. Let's get you home and clean you up. At home, the twins played and pulled out all the toys. They were having a great time and Mom said, What does the clock say, Tick? Vroom, vroom, went Tick. Don't know, he said. All right. The hour hand is pointing to the five. And the minute hand is pointing to the nine. The hour hand, when it points to the five, means that the hour is five. So let's count by our fives towards the nine. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. That means the time is 545. Well, it just did our time, she said. They went to sit down and eat while Mom tidied up. There, it's all tidy now, said Mom. Look, it's 8 o'clock. Time for bed. Tick and Tock looked at the clock and said, No, it's not. It's 7 o'clock. We have another hour to play. Hooray! Hmm, let's see who's correct. So the hour hand is pointing to the seven, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. Remember, when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, it's exactly on the hour. And because the hour hand is pointing to the seven, that means tick and talk are correct. It's seven o'clock. And they pulled out all their building blocks to play with. Oh no, mom said with a sigh. What a muddle. What did we learn today? We learned that a clock has two hands, the short hand that tells us hours and the long hand that tells us the minutes. Since there are 60 minutes in an hour, we can skip count by fives around the clock to tell time faster. If we don't know how to tell time, our parents can sometimes trick us to go to bed earlier. 